Hi everyone. A function in Excel is a mathematical tool that helps you perform tedious calculations. Just like a formula in my last video, a function does the exact same thing except probably in an easier and more faster manner. A formula, you're basically making the equation and you're putting in the values to the equation. Meanwhile, a function, the equation's already made. All you need to do is put in the inputs and values for it to spit out the answer. And to show this, I have four numbers here, and I'm going to find the sum and the average, both by using formulas and functions, and you'll see how effective a function is compared to a formula. So to begin, to find the sum of the four numbers by using a formula, all we begin is again with an equal sign. And to find the sum, all we do is just add up all these four numbers, and I'll get 54. The average is a sum divided by the number of uh, values I'm using. So again, I have to, have to use the equal sign first. Then I'm going to have to use brackets because I want the sum divided by the amount of numbers. So I'm going to, again, find the sum, close the bracket, and divide it by the amount of numbers, which is 4. And there's my average. And you're probably thinking, this is, prob this is already quick. Well, if you find the average or sum of any four numbers is relatively quick. Except when you multiply these four numbers by 100, let's, so let's say you have 400 numbers, then it gets pretty tedious when you have to press this uh, the addition key about 400 times. Now, let's use a function to find the same answers. To activate functions in Excel, just like a formula, you're going you're gonna to use the equal sign to begin it. Then you're going to type the name of the function you're going to use. Excel already has some pre-installed formulas, or sorry, uh, pre-installed functions, and later you can also create your own functions. But for now, I already know, I already know that Excel is a sum function, and it's called sum. So you're going to do equal sign then the name of your function, which is sum, it's right here. You can either double click it from the list or already do your open bracket. And all I need is just the list of numbers I want to make a sum of. So I can also do 24, uh, comma, or sorry, A3, comma, B3, except again, not efficient. To be more efficient, you can use a range. To define a range, you again, do with your first number, use the colon, and then do the last number. And it will include all the numbers in between. Press enter, and there's my sum. Same thing with the average. I already know there's an average function in Excel called average. So you're going to do equals average, double click, or open bracket actually I'll do. Again, I'll use a range, press enter. Sa oh, so I get the same answers, except with a function, it's a lot easier and more faster. And so for an example, let's say you get your own marks. You, get, you have your marks for your midterm and you have marks for your final grade. And you want to see if you've actually improved or gotten worse over the whole throughout the whole year. I mean, you can do this easily with functions. So for the highest mark, I know Excel has a function called max, which when you give it a list of values, it'll output the highest number. So I do equals max, open bracket, and I'll put the list. So B2 to B7. There you go. It's highlighted. Press enter. 90. That is true. These functions do not lie, by the way. The lowest mark is the same thing as the highest mark, except opposite. You want the lowest value. Excel is a function for that, believe it or not. It will be equals, then min. The function is called min. Again, put the list. Press equals, 62. There you go again. And the average, just like before. There is an average function. Select all the values. Press enter, and there you go. And if I want to do copy all these formulas across, again, select all the formulas you want to copy, put your cursor on the black square on the bottom right, and drag it across, or below, however you want to copy it. And there we go. So it seems my highest mark dropped, and my lowest mark dropped. So I doesn't look like I've done very well. But in aggregate, my average actually has gone up. And so maybe I, I didn't do that bad from the first half to the second half. Anyways, the bigger picture. 
you finally know what a function is and how it really makes you faster, more efficient, and much better at Excel. And I thank you for watching. You can leave me a comment, like the video, maybe share it with all your friends. And I'll see you next time on my next Excel tutorial. Thanks.